one, two, three, four, and we're live. It's Capital Sage, and now that we're on the same page, I want to explain my name really quick. I call myself Capital Sage because I spell my name with all capital letters, but then um, I spell the capital with an O because capital spelled with O means money, so it references money. And then also, Capital sounds like uh, someone with a position in the army, like the general. So, Capital Sage, and now that we're on the same page, how's it going? Um, so today we're going to talk about how do we get rid of narcissism. This is going to be really awesome because a lot of people who give life hacks about narcissism talk about how to deal with narcissists like outside of you. But I want to go a little deeper than that to say that a lot of us deal with traits of narcissism. So I'm going to talk about how to deal with the spirit of narcissism itself. So, um, I want to go farther into the topic because uh, a, a lot of us have narcissistic traits, which are like codependent traits. I'm reading my paper. It's good knowledge. I had to write it down. Hence the books. Right? So, um, there's traits of codependence, and that's where narcissism comes from. I say that narcissism is uh, a spirit just like um, disassociation. So, disassociation is when you run from life's traumas and you're like, I'm not doing this, I'm out of here. Narcissism is when you run to life's traumas and become life's traumas and you just like, if you can't beat them, join them and be the best. So, disassociation is when you back away from life's traumas. Narcissism is when you run to life's traumas and become life's traumas. So, instead of just like I said, most of the videos show how you can just deal with the narcissism, a narcissist and not let them run all over you, how to talk to them, stuff like that. I want to talk about how to just not vibe with the spirit of narcissism, period. The key to letting go of narcissism is letting go of the past. You're harping on the past and... Narcissism is a predator. Narcissism is like a vacuum. Looking into the past is like a vacuum. When you lament on the past, you just kind of sit and wallow in it. And it's like a vacuum. The past is not even there anymore. So you just sit in there in the past and just going deeper and deeper into the past. The narcissist is going to put a magnifying glass on that because that's your weakness. You're lamenting on the past, I'm guessing because something happened that you don't know how to grapple with uh you're trying to figure it out like why who what when where why do y'all see my love t-shirt anyways so yeah you just sitting there like who what when where why lamenting on the past and the narcissist um spirit is like of a predator so any vulnerability that it senses it's going to hone in on it's like a magnifying glass really and being stared at when you feel vulnerable is very uncomfortable. So, letting go of the past will get rid of the spirit of narcissism because you're not stuck on something that you can't change. You're not stuck in that vacuum anymore. You're not just like in a position where there's nothing you can do about it because that's a predatory energy to be in a place where there's nothing that you can do about it. The past is something that you can't do anything about. So that is why healing yourself from the past will get rid of narcissistic energy. You might be being your own narcissist by being stuck in your own past so much. Narcissism is a spirit and it's an energy. It's not just some outside person that gets on your nerves or that, you know, does whatever we categorize narcissism as being. I believe that a lot of us have narcissistic traits. So basically I just want to say this again. Predators want any hint or smell of blood or or anything vulnerable. So if you are bleeding you attract predators basically. I think that a lot of us are bleeding because we don't let go of the past. Lamenting on the past attracts narcissism. A lot of other videos addressing narcissism tell you how to deal with the other person. I want to tell you how to stop being in sync with the spirit of narcissism. Let go of the past. It's Capital Sage. I love you. Till next time.
That's five minutes. 